Hey guys, what's up? I'm shooting this in my car and because it's late, because I have to work, I went to uh, Chick-fil-A to hang out with my friend Jeff, who I haven't seen in a while. Hello, Jeffrey. Um, and that was a lot of fun. You know, we got to catch up, we got to talk about some things. Um, I talked about this new this new project that I'm just going to start working on. If everything falls into place, you guys will probably see it in the next um, few weeks, probably. Um, I'll put it up and let you know about it. Uh, anyway, I'm getting sick, or I am sick. Thanks a lot, Karina. It's mostly my fault, I guess, because I let her sleep. Uh, you know, my family was staying with me, and Karina was sick. I let her sleep in my bed because I'm a fucking gentleman, and I, I like an idiot. I didn't change the sheets or anything. So, because uh, we're family, you know, why change the sheets? Jesus. Uh, but no, we should because she's sick and now I'm sick and I'm like, God oh, damn it. So I'm going to go home. I've been drinking so much water all day. I've had to like pee nonstop for like five hours. It feels like woof. So I'm going to go home, drink more orange juice and maybe some tea, have some toast. Hopefully someone bought milk and butter today. If Michael didn't buy milk and butter today, I swear to God, I swear to God. Anyway. Happy November! Guys, the 5th is in like four more days. I just realized and I'm so excited. I feel like throwing, I feel like tearing down the government all over again. <laughs> all over again. I feel like tearing down the government in real life <laughs> instead of make believe land. Uh, God, I love, every time the 5th of November comes up, it gets so, ugh, it gets so like revolutionary. Not with, like, the things that I do, but, like, in the way, like, my state of mind. Like, I want to cause a revolution. Even though we have a pretty sweet here in America, I just, there's some problems here, and I kind of want to get rid of them the old-fashioned way. But, um, on another, like, in the same moment, <sighs> I also do not want to do that, because then people will die. Oh, hey, guys, wait, hang on. I'm in this book my brother gave me called Rotten Ruin. It's so good. It's about zombies, and it's, like, so good. Like, they're mentioning things in this book that I never even, like, considered or, like, thought of or, like, vaguely even had, like, an idea about before. But, of course, like, when they explain it, it's like, oh, my God, that's, like, plain as day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? It's such a good book. So far, if you like zombies, you should read. I mean, I'm not even, like, halfway through it. I'm probably, like, a third of the way through it right now. It's called Rotten Ruin. It's by uh, Jonathan Mayberry. He wrote Patient Zero, um, which I haven't read, but I heard it's good. Uh, but yeah, you should check out Ro Rotten Ruin. It's a damn good book so far. Um, what else? Oh, I bumped into Topher Grace today. Remember him? Uh, Eric from That 70s Show? Yeah, bumped into him today at the at the hand prop room. Uh, apparently, he's doing this surgence into, like, getting behind the camera, and uh, he did this thing where it was, with uh, this, this like, lesson in editing by editing uh, the three Star Wars prequels into one 90-minute movie, and apparently, it's fantastic, you know? Apparently, it's, like, a really, really good movie, and, uh, but, of course, they can't show it anywhere. They, they screened it once at, like, at, Par at the Paramount Screening Room or something like that. And that's it. Like, that's all that anyone can ever see of it. Because not only will George Lucas have a shit fit, but now Lucasfilm is owned by Disney, and they will murder him for that, for, like, you know, showing that property like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, ran into uh, Topher Grace, because uh, he, was, he was at the prop house, I think, just, like, looking for props to see, like, what happens in a prop house, or, well, I don't know, whatever. Whatever he's doing, he's just trying to get behind the camera and try to learn how to make shit instead of just being in shit, you know? But he was, he was cool. He seemed nice. I mean, only, like, literally, like, we didn't even share words. I was like, like, I picked something up. And I'm like, hey. He's like, hey, how's it going? I like, walked by. Um, he joked about how all the fake food made him, like, really hungry. <laughs> Which is true. It happens to me sometimes. Um, that's pretty much all that happened today. It was a good day. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave you now. I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, thanks for stopping by, you guys. I hope I feel better soon. I have a party to go to tomorrow, and it's gonna be great. Unless I'm sick. And then it's gonna suck. I really hope I don't get, like, sick and then, like, get, like, really lazy and just sit at home and not go to the party. Yeah. Also, I'm, like, really tired all the time. Because I've had, like, a long week.
but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and uh, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.